Thanks and much. welcome and back welcome to back. The <laughs> Literally, like we ended the last vlog like 10 seconds ago and we're already starting the next episode. But this episode is about our experience in background. Well, you've never done background. Yes, before. I have for your production. Oh, yeah. I thought it was funny because I don't know who cut that, but you guys put me in literally almost every single shot, <laughs> like somewhere in the background. I thought that was hilarious. All right, so today we're answering the question that I get asked a lot which is why am i in the show community it's like the final shot that ends one of these seasons and there's my dumbass sitting there and a lot of people have recognized me from that and was like what are you what are you doing here but yeah that's something that i had found out you could do through this company called central casting and it's something that my brother and my dad actually both did my dad just did it once just because he wanted to try it out and i think my brother did it for a little bit and he was in pearl harbor and stuff like that but then my brother also has a scene where basically naked like moving some boats around and stuff it's it's pretty hilarious they told me like yeah you could do that you just go and sign up at this place and i was really excited about the idea of doing that because i just wanted to see how a set in a production works and i just kind of want to like work in that environment for a little bit and yeah that was like what I did for my paycheck for a solid two years at least until I got enough video work to where I can quit but I've been in a lot of different shows but Yo, I've been you in were the, in the social network yeah I was in the social network for a brief second that was cool just seeing David Fincher work and just literally go asking for take after take after take that was interesting I was a regular on community like basically when you're a background you might just get booked on a show and you could become a regular so you know every week i would probably go in two three times a week to go and just stand in the background and it's not good money or anything like that it's basically minimum wage at least until you join a union but yeah i was doing that a couple times a week and most of the times i wouldn't end up in any shot at all like i would say 60 to 70 percent of the time you go on set and you don't end up in the shot Joe, you did this for a couple years yeah, yeah, I was in a This Is Us. That was the biggest one I guess I was in. When we're going in there, it's like, okay, line up to go on set. And then one of the PAs, he's all like, okay, so I'm going to call like the first 15 people. It goes one, two, three, four, five. And you know, he's coming down the line. And he goes 12, 13, 14, skips the girl in front of me and calls me 15. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, what? Okay, I guess I'll go now. Then like, there's a chair next to me. And then there's this like tall dude who came in to sit at the chair. I didn't realize he was a stand in. I just thought it's like, oh, this guy is just going to come in. And then later on realizing, no, that's actually where the lead actor is going to be. It's like right next to me right there. And it's just like, whoa, actually, that was like the second time I did it too. The weird thing with doing like background work is like, you know, I did it just for the money. I'm not really looking to be an actor. And so I didn't care about it. But then, you know, you kind of get picked and you almost kind of be like, well, what if this impossible dream did actually happen? It's not really what I'm here for, but if it did, wouldn't that be kind of cool? And then, you know, you kind of want to get into it more. Whoever thought that there'll be thousands of people that are like, we want to hear Dylan's inspirational quotes. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> and go! Be like rain and give life to the world. Be the thing that everyone looks for and needs. I, just to let you guys know, I never give Dylan <laughs> any sort of lead time for it. Like, there's zero preparation. Like, yeah. Improv is hard to do. All right, like, Sam, go. Uh, sometimes the rainbows are the skittles of our generations. Dylan, quickly talk about that pier right there and go. Pier is aged like fine wine, and even though it has barnacles, it just shows how resilient it is against the elements of the water. Oh my god, literally. That's li I'm Dude, not kidding, that I was like don't straight up. Yeah. how you do it. Yeah, I don't know either. And this whole time, everyone thought you were just worthless piece of Okay, this is disgusting. Brand new bag of rice. Actually, two bags of rice. Yeah, so I bought them at Costco and I was storing them. But the, the, they must have laid the eggs in here before I oh bought it. Oh my god, there's so many in there. Oh, so you're supposed to freeze them after you buy them? I read, just read an article that, you know, because they can lay their eggs. So, like, if you freeze your flour or your rice, it'll kill off the eggs so that this doesn't happen. Oh, my God. And it's totally sealed, too. Yeah. And they just, wow, there's a lot in there. That is so, oh, my God. I'm going to throw up. Yes, no. Bye-bye. Do you want rice tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you still yeah, want that rice? Right? Yeah. Hey, Dylan. What's up? What you doing? Turning stuff off. Hear that, ladies? You're in luck. Dylan's gonna turn you off. Exactly. <laughs> Dylan, out of all the films that you did background for, what was the most interesting? Well, the Chris Brown was pretty memorable. It was weird because I met his uh, stand-in, and I remember like I didn't even know whose music video it was, and he just looked at me. He's like, "Yeah, you probably think I'm Chris, right?" And I'm like. Chris what? And then I kind of looked at him again and it's like, oh, Chris Brown, oh, okay. So stand-ins are people that look like the actors, but while the actors and the talent and the musicians get to hang out in the trailers, the stand-ins get to stand in front of the camera while they set up lighting and cameras. 
Oh my god, how funny would it be if we all got stand-ins? We had the stand-ins filmed the entire vlog. That's Carrie, you need a stand-in also. And to mean Lady Gaga. Oh yeah. We just get A-list celebrities to like Be our stand-ins. I call Michael Pena. Who does Dylan get? I don't know. The guy from the boys. Yeah, I'll get him. Anything else we like to add to this vlog? Background work? Yeah. Should I mention I played a terrorist? But they didn't use the footage anyway. <laughs> Should we make a PETA coin? A PETA coin? <laughs> Doesn't PETA look so funny whenever Carrie holds her like that? Like her neck looks long. But she asks for it. She wants me to pick her up. Did the vet say she's a little overweight? She didn't say she was overweight, but she said if she lost a pound or two, she'd be okay with that. You I think that, that was her nice way of going, she should lose a pound or two. <laughs> she's actually pretty heavy. You hear that, Peta? <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit. No, it will fit. Oh, well, maybe it will. It didn't look like it was going to fit at all. <laughs> that's, that's, that's surprising. Well, I'm off to my house. All right. Bye, Sam. Bye. See you tomorrow. All right, Dylan. See you tomorrow. Later, I guess. I still gotta go inside your house to get my stuff. Oh, okay. So. Alright, Dylan, don't, don't f this up in action. Okay. In its simplest terms, what makes a roller coaster work is gravity. I'm actually excited for this move we're about to do because they just finished construction right next door there, and now they're just starting construction right there. And it's just so noisy all the time. Dylan, everyone thinks you're sponsored by Nikon because you keep <laughs> well, that bad sponsor because I messed it up. <laughs> Anyone that wants okay. to sponsor us will swap out that logo for yeah. something else. For yeah. How much do you want for it? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. All right. If any company wants to give Dylan five hundred dollars and send him a mug with a logo on or it, or just a sticker it. that we'll put on this mug. <laughs> you know. How about you, Sam? Do you want a sponsor? Yeah, I want an underwear sponsor. How much do they have to pay you to wear their underwear? Can I pay them? <laughs> I don't think you're a good business guy, but sure. <laughs> Anyways, we got a little bit more filming to do here, but uh, we'll read some comments in a bit. Look at you guys looking like you're working hard over there. See, this is our yard, and there's all this construction going on right there. So, <laughs> lots of noise, but they're building that thing fast. Really fast. That none, none of that was there like a few days ago. All right, so Sam has set up a Monday.com account for us. It's kind of like a team creative work group collaborative. Thing. It's basically a way to, for us to try to get organized. I am and now manager boy. You're the manager boy now? <laughs> yes. You always hear about startups going through growing pains and all that. And I never really understood that. I'm like, well, why don't you just keep doing what you're doing and just keep growing? But uh, there definitely was a brick wall that we hit and we're like, wow, without the proper organization, like we're stuck. But Monday.com is pretty awesome. It's like you get to see everything we're working on. And we used to kind of like update it on some Google Drive and stuff. This is much better. Yeah. Like my brain feels somewhat organized. Anyways, we got a little bit more to focus on right now and uh, we have some really exciting news to share. We're gonna reveal one of the things on the two year roadmap. I'm pregnant. I think Potato's new composition style is the future of Hollywood. This one right here where I'm just like this. Hey everybody, what do you think? Yeah, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be putting a ring on it. That's really scary, but well worth it. You all are great together, at least looking at it from this side of YouTube. Nah, I don't think, I don't think he'll marry Dylan. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't really like, want to do that. I already asked him. He's like, nah. nah. Gene and Dylan's friendship are epic. You can really picture them as kids. Here's a picture of Dylan and I when we were kids. Which picture do you think we show right there? I think it's the one outside your house. We were like going to first grade or something. Yeah, I think we showed that one already. Yeah. Let's do uh, one when we went to Europe, like when we were kids. Oh yeah, so yeah. we got that. Eiffel yeah. Tower or something in the background? Yeah, something like that. Of course, we don't want Sam to feel left out. So we'll show a picture of when we first started hanging out with Sam. We look just like us, but we're just skinnier. Dylan looked like a bodyguard while Gene and Sam talked to directors. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm an ex-bouncer, so. <laughs> he, that was that. something that he did. What was the nightclub in San Francisco? It's a 1015 Folsom. Yeah, that, that you saw some crazy sh go down there. Yeah. Huh? Like at first, you know, the stories, it's cool to tell your friends, but after a while, it's like, ah, I just don't want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> We need a vlog where you and Carrie just take Carly's for a ride. I'm actually about to take the bike out right now. First ride together in years. Let's do it. First go Carrie. Hey, so do you want to give us a little hint at uh, what we're doing tomorrow? This is a weird <laughs> way to say it though. Just be like standing in my work clothes at the end of the day. The next vlog is going to be about this. Flooring. Because we bought a house! <laughs> now hold up, let me just manage expectations real quick. If you're expecting the next vlog to be a tour of our epic mansion, then you're in for a little bit of a disappointment. But it is a project that we're very excited about and we get to finally reveal it on the blurry sheet. Number five is home renovation. So as I've mentioned before, houses in LA, super expensive. We're not trying to get into anything like that, but 
we felt like we found a really good opportunity last month where basically we're like, okay, well, we have to start looking for places to move to. But the landlord's sister is a real estate agent and she was basically like, oh, well, you know, you could actually own a house for less than what you're paying in rent right now. We ran some numbers and if we're okay with downgrading the location and the house itself, then we could actually make it happen because of how low interest rates are right now. Also the housing market's insane right now and it's very hard to get it, but we actually managed to just put in an offer below asking and they accepted it. I think there might've been a little bit of an Asian bond right there, you know, it's a thing. You know, when you see an Asian and you see another Asian, you kind of go like, yo, what's up? We like cook each other up sometimes. But the place itself, the neighborhood, I think it's very much up and coming. It's not nice yet, but I think it will be nice over the course of the next five, 10 years. Also, it's a big fixer upper. So that's a project that Carrie and I really are excited to take on. So there's a long road ahead of us still. We might actually sell the Tesla to help uh, fund some of the renovations and stuff like that, but uh, we're excited. We're super excited. And also, I, I know some of you are sick of this list already because most of it's blurred. I'm gonna try to unblur it as fast as I can, I promise. But uh, for number two, I get to go and see the first prototype for today and also our secret YouTube channel that will officially probably go live today as well. So today's a good day. We get the keys in our hands today. The reason why we didn't really announce this house thing sooner is because we just honestly thought it wasn't gonna go through. We've been in escrow for the last 30 days. So basically like it's 30 days of just like, oh, you might get the house, you might not. But you know, <laughs> then during that time you have to like qualify for the loan officially and you have to sign all these things and you have to do all these inspections on the house, make sure it's not too fucked up. But for us, we were like, hopefully there's a lot of stuff up with it because then that just like keeps driving the price down and again we feel like we got a really good deal on it it's way cheaper than we honestly even knew we could get a house for and the neighborhood it's still rough around the edges like i've mentioned before but it's uh very exciting i feel like it's a very up and coming area but anyways next vlog will be us getting the keys and going into the house and stepping foot into our first very own house i can't wait i'm really really excited for the future, so hell yeah.